Okay, students of class 7, today let's learn chapter 15 from your social science history. Well, uh, today we will learn some of the important topics on bhakti movements. Okay, and also we will see together <clears throat> some of the uh, bhakti saints such as Ramanuja, Ramananda, Mirabai, Chaitanya, Kabir as well as Guru Nanak. Okay. So, in the later classes, we will also discuss uh, Islam and Sufism. Okay. And also, we will also include Hinduism in Manipur. I mean, Hinduism as well as Islam in Manipur. All right. Well, uh, before we go into the details of this very lesson, let us try to see some of the important keywords of this uh, very lesson. Okay, because these words will definitely appear in this lesson. The first one is uh, salvation. Salvation means deliverance from sin and its consequences. Okay. The second one is conviction. Conviction means a firm belief or opinion. Denounce. Denounce means publicly declared to be wrong or evil. Another one is a codified to arrange something such as laws or rules into a system. Sectarian means excessive devotion to a particular sect. All right. So, mystic, someone who communicate directly with God. Okay. If you, if you directly communicate with God, then uh, is a mystic. Chanting, to repeat or sing a word or phrase continuously. That's what we call as chanting. Chanting mantras and all. Okay. Darga, tomb or shrine of a Muslim saint. Well, in the early days uh, in India, people worship their own god as gods and goddesses. All right. They worship many gods. All right. They, they were polytheistic, so to say. Okay. So, after some times, the idea of birth and rebirth, it was accepted during the course of the period in the history, especially in India, during the ancient time. I'm sure last year you have already learned about Buddhism and Jainism in class 6, right? So, they believe in birth and rebirth. So, religious like that of Buddhism and Jainism, they started to accept this uh, concept or this, this belief. Yeah. So it leads to the birth of a new religion, such as Buddhism and Jainism. Well, let's see the next one. And later on, the idea of a supreme god. You know what is a supreme god? Okay. Who could deliver human beings from bondage through intense devotion. So if a human being is devoted to a supreme god, uh, what do you call that one? That is what we call as bhakti. Okay, it's a Sanskrit word bhakti. So the idea of bhakti became very, very popular in the early Christian centuries before the medieval period in India. Okay, even the Christians, you know, after uh, the uh, missionaries of these Christians, they have a lot of missionaries. Okay, so even the bhakti, the bhakti movement became very popular in the early period of uh, Christian eras. So, when we come back to India, this Shiva came to be worshipped in South India and Kashmir. So, from the picture, you can see this is the deity of Shiva. And uh, Shakti, that is, uh, the Shakti is also known as Durga. Okay, matter for Durga, Puja and all. They were very popular in the East and one more that is Vishnu. Vishnu was or is very popular in the North India. So these were worship uh, during the time of uh, their bhakti movement. So the, the during the time of this bhakti movement, personal devotion to God was emphasized. Okay, it emphasized on the union of individual with, with God uh, rather than worshipping so many gods okay so this bhakti movement was first developed in south india by 
Saiva Nayanars. These Saiva Nayanars, they were the devotees of, uh, so to say, this Bhakti movement or Shiva, most probably, and Vaisnavite Alvars. Let us repeat again Vaisnavite Alvars. First one is Saiva Nayanars. So they first developed this Bhakti movement in South India. All right. So what does uh, this bhakti cult or bhakti movement say they have a personal devotion to god and it ultimately leads to salvation we have already learned something about salvation right and they have an ideals of love and heroism okay which were which were written in sangam literature i think last year we have learned something about sangam literature do not the south indian literature uh, during the time of Sangam period, uh, love and heroism. Okay, so uh, some of the bhakti saints in India were Namadev and Tukuram. Let us repeat again Namadev and Tukuram from Maharashtra, Chaitanya from Bengal, Guru Nanak from Punjab, Kabir and Ramananda from Uttar Pradesh, Mirabai from Rajasthan. And also Shankar Dev from Assam. These bhakti saints were very popular even today. Okay, some of the where uh, some of the people are the followers of all these saints. Uh, saints, I mean. So let us see some of the uh, important popular bhakti saints. The first one is Ramanuja. This Ramanuja was a believer or follower of Vishnu, Lord Vishnu. Okay, he was from South India and his teaching include uh, salvation through personal devotion. So if a person if a person devoted himself to God, okay, most probably Vishnu, okay, he got this salvation. And this Ramanuja was the first saint to preach the message of love in India, okay? <laughs> not not in the world. All right, message of love. So, before, uh, before this Ramanuja, most of the religious leaders, they never uh, preach the message of love. Okay, you might have heard Brahmanas, Kshatriyas and all, during the caste system and all. They don't have any love for the poor people, right? Okay, next one is Bhakti. Bhakti became a religion of the masses. So, after this Ramanuja, this bhakti system, okay, it was spread to many people. Masses means people. All right. Uh, the next one is Ramananda. Ramananda was the disciple of this uh, Ramanuja. Okay, he was born in Allahabad in Uttar Pradesh, and he was the worshipper of Rama and Sita, Lord Rama. Okay, and he has many disciples, this Ramananda, uh, such as this from the picture itself, you can see this is Ramananda. He has Ravidas. Ravidas was a cobbler. You can see from the picture right here. Okay, Sena, who was also a barber, and even Kabir, uh, a weaver, you can see from the picture right here. This picture uh, portraits Kabir. All right. So, not only that, this Ramananda, he was the first bhakti saint to preach in Hindi. Okay, let us try to remember that. And uh, the second one is Mirabai. Mirabai, she was a Rasput princess. She was devoted to uh, Krishna, Lord Krishna. You might have heard. Okay, you can see from the picture also right here. And basically, she was married to a Rasput royal family, okay, to a Rasput princess, so to say. But after the death of her husband, okay, she moved to Vrindavan. You might have heard this Vrindavan. It is in North India. Okay, so she stays there. She lived there for uh, the rest of her life, singing bhajans. Okay, she was a very good musician. She knew how to sing. And also Kirtans. Yeah, this is all about Mirabai. 
she was also a saint a saint of this bhakti movement the next one is chaitanya chaitanya was born in nadia bengal okay he was the devotee of krishna okay and his life changed when he visited gaya 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 uh, the birthplace of lord buddha buddha was from gaya right and he made kirtans as a special form of worship kirtans means uh, singing and dancing all this this is what we call as kirtans even today if you go to uh, iskon in manipur in ghari okay you will be able to see the uh, kirtans people are performing this kirtan singing and dancing okay in praise of god so to say so this chaitanya he was devoted to this kirtan kirtan means singing and dancing in praise of god and chaitanya did not reject the scripture of idol worship i mean scriptures or idol worship and not only that he was his uh, religion or i can say i should say his cult bhakti cult was attracted to both hindus as well as muslim even low caste people okay even harizans even uh, the sudras they also joined uh, in his movement that is bhakti movement okay because of that he was very popular uh, he greatly influenced especially uh, particularly this northeast including manipur all right most parts of northeast was influenced by this chaitanya let's go to the next one well i think <laughs> we have to uh, learn only up to here for today okay um i wish you sh- you must learn all the notes from study materials okay do not which i have sent you in your whatsapp group and also please subscribe to my youtube channel may god bless you once again thank you so much for participating in this learning